<laughs> uh, first alert, short-lived this morning for parts of the state. There is some brief rain and snow shower activity taking place right now. There could be a slick spot or two, but it's not too much of a big deal. You'll see it here materializing on first alert live radar. Most of the state is fine. It was actually a beautiful sunrise this morning in most of Connecticut, but there's a little bit of snow in Manchester, Bolton, Andover, uh, New Britain, Waterbury, a little bit of mixing taking place right now in Danbury along 84. So you're going to see some uh, maybe a sleep pellet, maybe a a raindrop, maybe a snowflake. That's all the results of this very weak system, which is passing through parts of New Jersey, uh, Northeast Pennsylvania. This is all racing in our direction. So you can see it's just over Connecticut. So now between now and about 10 o'clock, this moisture is going to be with us. Then it's going to shut down and we're going to enjoy a really lovely Monday afternoon. It's pretty lovely in New Haven right now with a temperature, an amazing temperature of 39 degrees. That is just wonderful. Uh, and you won't need the winter coat this afternoon, that's for sure. Windsor Locks a little bit cooler, 33 with partial sunshine, visibility at a perfect 10. Even where we have the precipitation this morning, it's not impeding visibility this morning, which is some good news. Temperatures a little bit cooler in northeast Connecticut this morning. You've got 24, 26, 28, and then you hop to the shoreline and it's 38 to 39, 30 in Salisbury, 29 in Torrington, 30 in Waterbury. So cold enough to support that mixing a little bit below the freezing mark out there. And the wind today will be out of the south and west. Now that's going to do two things. It's going to warm the inland temperatures up, but keep the shoreline temperatures just a little bit cooler due to that onshore breeze. But it's Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. 46 to 52, a morning mix with spring-like weather this afternoon. Here are your headlines. The first alert for this brief wintry mix this morning. Spring-like warmth tomorrow and Wednesday and uh, then Thursday. The numbers drop after another first alert for rainy and windy conditions on Wednesday. Winds could gust in excess of 30 miles an hour on Wednesday, and that could lead to some isolated power outages. So let's take a look at first alert future cast. You'll notice it's, uh, again, rain showers. All of that moisture in northeast Pennsylvania is marching in by about 9. 10 o'clock, it shuts down, and the rest of the afternoon looks good. Tonight, there will be some fog forming. This is by 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, a little bit of an increase in cloudiness. So tomorrow, partly cloudy. And then tomorrow evening, here comes the rain, and it could be heavy uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday during the day. It's going to come in waves. We're going to get one wave Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, and then Wednesday afternoon through Wednesday night so just keep that in mind it's all in association with this very strong cold front this is wednesday night still pouring out there then the front passes by in very early thursday morning it clears out but a northwesterly flow takes over and that's going to lower the temperatures for thursday so keep that in mind so but wednesday another first alert for periods of rain and winds gusting in excess of 30 miles an hour here's the forecast for today not a bad day let's just get through the next couple of hours temperatures in the upper 40s low 50s and then your seven day forecast another first alert for rain and wind very mild temperatures dropping on thursday friday is the coolest of the next seven and then moderating temperatures for saturday and Sunday. That's a nice looking weekend. All right.